In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to sketch natural logarithmic functions. The question reads, sketch the graph f of x is equal to negative ln x plus 2 minus 1. Before we can start doing this, we need to discuss a few things. Number one, ln and log mean the same thing, except that for ln, that's a symbol used to represent log of base e. So whenever you have a base of e, Euler's number, we simply replace this with the symbol ln. That is important because in one of our previous videos we learned how to model logarithmic equations. And we discovered two patterns. We learned that when the base b is greater than 1, you have this pattern. And when the base is between 0 and 1, you get this pattern. In our case, b happens to be e because it's a natural log. So expect something like this as a starting or reference graph. So let me go ahead and plot that. From this you can tell that you'll have a point at 1 and 0. So let me write that down. 1 and 0, that's for sure. We'll also have a point at b and 1. For us, b happened to be Euler's number, e. So e and 1. e is approximately 2.71. So just keep that in the back of your head. And what's not shown here is a third point. You always want to use three reference points as you do a transformation from a starting graph. What would be another point along this generic curve? Well, in our previous video, we learned that you'll have a point at 1 over the base, which is e, and negative 1. So that's always the case. You can always use these as three reference points to start off any log graph. That is, of course, if b is greater than 1, which it is here. OK, let's plot those. I'll start with 1 and 0. 1 and 0 is easy. That's this point right here. We will have a point at e and 1. e is 2.71. So 1, 2, and 2.71 is between these two blocks and 1. So let's place that point right here. And our final point will be 1 over e and negative 1. So if you want to find out what 1 over e is, just do 1 divided by 2.71. It doesn't have to be extremely accurate because usually I would say use the number e on your calculator, but I just want a rough estimate. It's around 0 0.37. Okay, 0 0.37 is between obviously this and that, so a third along the way, let's say it's right here. Let's connect this with a smooth curve while at the same time maintaining the vertical asymptote that exists. Now moving on to our function, we can start to apply the transformations. Always start with this part. So we have log e x plus 2. This plus 2 means that we'll be shifting these three reference points two units to the left. If this is positive, it's to the left, and if it's negative, it's to the right. So this point is easy. It goes from being 1 and 0 to the left would mean negative 1 and 0. I'm subtracting 1 minus 2, which is negative 1 and 0. So that's our new point. Negative 1 and 0 is right here. We will have another point, a brand new point. Let's transform e and 1. e and 1 becomes e minus 2 and 1. e minus 2, that's like saying 2.71 minus 2. That's approximately 0 0.71. So a point at 0 0.71, that's in between this block and 1. So let's place it right here. And finally, our last point is 1 over e and negative 1. We will subtract the x-coordinate by 2 units. So we have 1 over e minus 2 and negative 1. Let's use our calculator to do this quickly. 1 over 2.71 as e minus 2, and that happens to be negative 1.63. Negative 1.63 is somewhere between these two lines. And it's negative 1, so we go down. OK, so that's our very first transformation. I will respect the vertical asymptote that exists. That hasn't changed. Our next transformation will be this negative that's at the front that negative will reflect the graph about the x-axis. 
And the way you do that is you look at these brand new points that you created and you change the symbol of the Y coordinate. You can't change the symbol of zero. So this remains where it was. This point right here, the one that I'm highlighting, will remain where it is. This point on the other hand will become E minus two and negative one. So rather than being here, it is now somewhere here. Let me erase this red curve so you can see it clearly. So this point becomes down here. And this point, if we reflect it about the x-axis, that becomes positive one, which is right here. This means that our brand new curve will look like this. All right, moving on to negative one. When you apply something at the very end of the function, in this case minus one, that means all of these points will be shifted one point downwards, one unit downwards. If it were positive, it would go upwards. This point will go down one, that will go down one, and that will go down one. Of course, you subtract one from the y coordinate and you can actually get the accurate point that it represents. In other words, that becomes minus one and minus one. That becomes e minus two and zero. And you see that right here. And this point becomes one over e minus two and negative two and you see that right there. Let's connect these one more time and at the same time I will erase the purple curve and the red curve. So here it is. We respect the vertical asymptote and it opens in this direction. That is how to sketch natural logarithmic functions.